Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner on our hard mode series as we continue on in Alaska. We are in Mountain River. It's been about two weeks since I recorded the last one. Um, so I just got to do a quick refresh on what we are doing and where we are. So we'll just hop in the map. We're currently in the Derry. We've got the ANK behind us. Um, I think, yeah, we've got the Royal. It's free. I think that's down at the factory. Yeah. Uh, but job-wise, uh, we are working our way through. We've done quite well. We have oil barrels delivery to White Valley. We have um, the polar base research. That's in White Valley. Town stores White Valley. We've got logging. That's logging. That's logging. Order Master Supreme is quite a thing. Um, oversized cargoes coming through. Concrete slabs. But they are oversized sized cargo comes from within white valley so that'll be a little a little white a little weight a ways um and we have cargo apocalypse part one which is um large pipes and concrete blocks to the warehouse here um large pipes and concrete blocks are coming from outside the map though Um, far and away, I think that's more logging. We have got uh, drilling stuff delivery. That's going to Northport. We can get drilling equipment from within here. Down at the service station. And we have crates, uh, or supply crates, sorry. Um, four consumables going into White Valley. In here in Mountain River, we also have our uh, bricks in the river. Which we might try and do to start with. Uh, but Blackbirds, we've got the Valley Pipeline building. So it's going to tell us going back through. So I think what I might do actually is if I jump into the Royal. Yeah, if I jump in the Royal. That's what we'll do. And we are going to want uh, a naughty trailer, so I'll get that sorted. There we are, off-road flatbed semi-trailer. A free one, of course. And I think that the um, drilling parts will fit in the ANK. Because that's a two-slot um, two cargo container, I believe. I've lost my rhythm, so everything's going to go everything's going to go south now. Um, shall we put that job on, actually? We'll do... Where was it? Where was it? Morrison's Mining. Drill stuff. Delivery. Right. Yeah, so that is just... Down to the left. So I might load it up on here take it up to the top and then load on into the ANK because then that'll get the ANK back pretty much where I want it I think I don't think I'll use it for much else we'll probably do most of our work with the Royal and the uh, the dairy they've worked so you know pretty good so far we may just have to bring the white western star through for some login or something like that Now, I'm not sure if time went off, um, like it does sometimes when I load in after a while, um, or whether we just finished really late last time, so it's already nearly 11 o'clock. So this might be a short episode. Okay, so we'll probably want to put the, the old anchors on for this one.
So we want to go on the loading platform. Drilling. Oh, it's a four slot. So I'll need it on here anyway. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. That is what we want. And drilling equipment. I don't know what made me think that was a two slot then. We've moved enough drilling equipment about in the past. Bring that over nicely. Nicely, nicely. <laughs> That'll do us. He says nicely and then throws it on. Uh, pack the cargo, stop the crane. Well, hopefully the bouncy tippy, although it's not tipped on us, the bouncy tippy royal will be okay with pulling this through to the drilling site because that can be a little bit of a funny area to get through with some of the uh, the larger loads. This could be our first sort of big challenge since the, um, the drilling rig coming through the mud way back when. So take a right, take a right, right, right. In my head, I'm still trying to think and get my bearings on the route, the networks and the route. I'll be alright once I'm in there. <laughs> once I'm in port, we'll, we'll be fine. I'll, it'll, it'll come back to me. I'd gotten so far ahead with the series, and I had a few other games that I wanted to try and play and get stuck into. Some 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 of the games that I've had on the channel that are not there anymore. I want to try and sort of crack on with them and for myself. And there's some of the games that I've had for a while that I've not even touched yet that no one that watches this content would be interested in, so I've been playing them. But we are we are back ready with the uh, reduced <laughs> schedule. Okay, it does give me a little bit of time to do some more things off screen for myself, which is is quite nice. I think I said before I am considering going back to uh, two channels and have one for other content again. We'll see how <laughs> how things go with this channel um, if YouTube will let it back in the park program at the end of the year and see how uh, how we're looking. We'll just try and sneak a little bit of fuel when we get to the top. Because it's what we do. Every opportunity, grab a little bit of fuel. I think I said I might move that one, or I might move the uh, the other one. Um, put one the other side of the bridge. I'm sure that's what I said I was going to do. So We've still got our tyre tracks from all those times ago up there, look. It's been two weeks and they're still there. But as always, thank you for, for coming back and joining me on this. Thanks for supporting the series. Hopefully you are enjoying it. We've had one or two nice comments and feedback uh, as the series has been going out. You know, it's not overly popular, but I absolutely love the game and I love what we're doing here, so uh, it keeps on going. I am recording this five days before FS25 comes out. So hopefully by the time this comes out, we're, in, we're into some streams and doing something. Oh, I forgot we had a trailer here as well. We'll be into some streams and doing some stuff. I think that one might go the other side then. Maybe we'll pull that through later. All right, we're going to head through, though. A bit of Northport in the day. What a view. So I think we'll try and get to the river, take it down the river, 
Um, I think that'll be the best route to go. Rather than all the way down the bottom of the map and then trying to bring it up again. Hopefully uh, the Royal will be, st be stable for me. As these sort of jobbies where it could get a bit risky. So we'll see if we can get a nice angle for a screenshot. On the mark that'll get gone. We'll see. We'll see. That might be. That's where I want to go as well. Worrying about my uh, thumbnail, but. So yeah, we'll go down there. Super sensible. Well, the stony riverbeds are, unless you get stuck on those stones, the stony riverbeds are, as a rule, the best surface. I think... And I don't want to jinx it, but I think there's enough weight and length on us that we should be pretty stable doing this the way I want to do it. It's just that I know that down one of these tracks, there's a little bit of a, a dip that has quite a quite an angle to it, where either the truck or the trailer might go. So we'll see. And I'm not one to toot my own uh, trumpet, but I think I'm doing quite well with the use of the Royal um, here and not bringing through other trucks and, and doing things. I think we've done a good job of it. It is, it is a capable truck. It's just a shame it doesn't have that diff lock. That would make it so much better. And as long as you don't raise it, it's not too tippy. <laughs> but as you can see, the lack of diff lock just, you know, means she spins out a lot, unfortunately. to get in low plus and see if we can get along a little bit better. At the time of recording this as well, uh, a good friend of the channel, Mr. Teeble, go check him out, has um, found a love for SnowRunner. Uh, so by the time this comes out, hopefully he's still going. Um, he's just started a, a regular playthrough, but he's he's pretty much blind to the game. Um, he's watched a little bit of my content, but he's sort of doing his own thing and having fun with it and going off and exploring and getting stuck and really learning the game for himself. And uh, I'm enjoying watching that as well. And I said to him recently, that that's one of the things I love about this game, is that no two people play it the same way. No two people's playthroughs are ever the same. Where's my little pit? Where is it? There it is. Alright. That's, that's not even one we can attach to, is it? Right. Don't want to put it too much and have us tip because <laughs> this is not somewhere I want to tip but that I have I have tipped the royal there in the past so I know that that's a risk 
come around here as well. You can get a bit of an angle on. So we're going to try and turn into it and then turn out of it. And then we just have to deal with the, t the tight turn uh, at the end of the track. Like I say, other than this route in, the only other way is like to come around all the way around the bottom and then try and bring it in up here. So we, we have to deal with this turn. So that, that that's, that's sort of the two options. I've done it both ways in the past, you know, had issues in both ways in the past, had no issues at both ways in the past, so. Honestly, I can't believe how, how well we're doing. <laughs> it's, it's concerning. <laughs> I'm sure we'll start to get some trouble soon. Especially when the login comes in. But we do have a lot of the uh, the little challenges to do as well still. Which I think are gonna take us a few attempts. And which is annoying because I've done them all before without a lot of a lot of trouble. I've rolled on a few of them, but yeah. I'm a little bit dubious. A little bit confuddled as well. But we'll, uh, we'll get them done. It's all part of the challenge to do it all. Right. Let's try and go as wide as we can. So, one drill and equipment for you. The new drill site is built. And um, that's one of our major tasks done off the map as well. It's good to know I can depend on you with the drills delivered. Uh, the guys at the, at the site tell me we can get the job done ahead of schedule. It's much appreciated, buddy. And that is uh, 790 on the XP and nearly six grand on the job. That brings us up to 166,000, which is uh, pleasing to see. So, next up, supply crates. And I still think I need to clear that. I don't know why I can't remember whether I've done it or not. That's really annoying. Um, if, if we go global map, if we just have a look here. Block tunnel, I still need to do it. Small pipes, concrete blocks. Um, annoying. Annoying that I haven't done that yet. What can we get from here? We can get the concrete blocks from there. Can we get small pipes? From here. We can. Hmm. Let me get from here. So we can't get concrete blocks from there though, so right. Okay, okay. I think what we'll do is
we'll finish that one off. We'll do four consumables. Okay, we can either come through and get them from the service hub here. Or... Can we grab any en route this side? No. So we're heading back through. That's where we're going. Absolutely fine. Metal beams from there. Yeah, well, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Right. Fine for fuel. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we really need to do here at the minute. Maybe not logistically the best in, in this back crew. I mean, you could save that one job till the very end, I think. As we were tidying up, that could have been something we did, actually. Should have thought about it. Final trip home, finish off that. But alas, we've done it. There's everything else that we need to go everywhere else. We can either get in White Valley or Mountain River. So just working out of those just, to me, makes sense. Should we have a little bit of the old in the cab job? Before it gets dark and we can't do it because we can't be out of sea. Casual trip back. Now we've not got the weighty load. <laughs> There's a chance of us having a little tip or a roll, I think, on that. On that slopey bit. That could be a thing. Let's hope not. As things are going well. So if we can save a little fuel, a little, a little high gear action. I think we've got enough go in us to uh, get through here in high gear. Maybe not. Come on. We can do it. It's the old adage, slow and steady wins the race. Right, let's try and follow our tracks. Because at least that was sort of pretty stable. I'm going to try and go as wide as I can. So we're not turning on the slopey bit. That's the trick. Just try and keep your vehicles straight when you're on angled terrain. Says the man that loves to roll a truck. I don't think once you're up here we'd be able to hike it. Get a little shift. Because that's the thing, the Royal's pretty quick. It is pretty quick. It's just not always always as capable as you'd like it. Due to the lack of the diff in other situations. See, so, look okay. how easily she gets... She gets Sort of ground up. I think it's because we've not got the weight, so we lose we lose a lot of the traction. Unfortunately, find someone to pull ourselves on just to get out here. There we go. Jump back in. Whoa! Let's jump back in. Let's not hit the post.
And I think the spot where the consumables have got to go is um, quite, you know, not over, I mean, I'll say quite challenging, quite difficult. It's a rough spot. In the grander scheme of things, there's not a lot that is challenging about Alaska or, or Michigan. Not once you sort of experience a few other places, but for here, it's, and with the vehicles we've got, it's challenging. And that's the thing, like, it's, it's sort of proportionate. When you get to the... What are we doing? Come on. When you get to the uh, the really tougher maps, usually <laughs> you've grabbed yourself a better truck or two on the way. <laughs> That's the hopes. Here we go. Dusk is getting upon us, I think. What is our time? Yeah, eight o'clock. It'll just suddenly get dark all of a sudden. Have some of your fuel. your coins and then we'll go and get our consumables yeah we gotta get to the, the sawmill in white valley which is a yeah a little bit of a mission how many oh dear. Ooh, wrong button now how many drill parts did we need for oh drill parts pipes one lot of pipes I might go and get the pipes first put the pipes on and then um stick the consumables on the consumables have got to come down to here and then once we've got the consumables sorted i think we can get our concrete blocks from there yeah so we can get our pipes small pipes from there one lot I think I can balance my uh, consumables reasonably well. I want the pipes packed first because I want to drop them off first. My memory is awful, isn't it? It's not here. Let's just check whether we get yeah, metal beams now. So it is the next <laughs> memory is so bad. Oh dear. I mean, I could even put the pipes in the ANK and just pull it through with me. Actually, I might do that because I mean, just send it straight through the tunnel afterwards pretty much or we'll, we can keep it in white valley in case we decide to use it actually so yeah i might get the pipes put them in the a and k jobs are good in.
get our lights on. Small pipes. and put them towards the back. Oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? So I was going to put them in the A and K, but no, never mind. That's just... Oh, dear. I don't think I'll need the ANK actually. I can do this. I'm just trying to find reasons to use the ANK because I know there really aren't many. Like I say, if that was a civilian and we could change the back on, I'd be, I'd be using it all the time. Oh, actually, no, I will use it. I will use it. I'll, we'll do it. I said I would, so we will. Up the hill. Mr. Ank. Yep, I figured that was going to happen. Now we'll uh, smack it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's going to be, I was going to say, it's going to be too far away now, isn't it? There's every chance that after Alaska, I sell both the Royal and the A&K to buy a different truck as well. Because I just don't think they're going to get used anywhere else. So we shall store...
But we'll pull it out of the dairy for now. We can always obviously top up the dairy. Well, maybe we'll keep the Royal. But I think we'll definitely sell the A and K. It's already for the chopper block. I just think on hard mode, if you've got to pay for your auto loads, which I do sometimes, but if you've got to pay for your auto loads, having trucks without crane ability, sort of. Just seems a little bit redundant. That's, uh, again, that's why I wanted to try and get some some mod vehicles in because we could do this, use some different stuff, or we can have, you know, vehicles that maybe didn't have cranes. We could find a version of it that has a crane, so we still get to use it, and we just have to pay obviously a little extra to be able to have that privilege. That was kind of the thinking. Or just to be able to use something different entirely. Perfect packing, as always. We get the minions to tidy it up afterwards. That's what they're for. How are we for damages? Oh, we're all right. I was going to tow the A&K, but we never drive it, so we'll uh, we'll actually hop in and we'll we'll drive it to our destination. Do we still have? So got the big fuel trailer, yeah. So I might. Mm, yeah. I might go and grab that. Pull through a little bit. Park that up where I said it was going to go on the um, other side of the bridge. I did say I'd put a trailer there. Sorry, I don't know why we're always in low gear. Something I do when we don't need to.
switch over. You'll be able to turn around. We'll go get that. We've not done anything to this. This is just as it comes. We can find it on the map, so I'm not even sure. We've, I think we've probably got all terrain tyres on. It is a capable truck. It really is. It's just the lack of versatility with this version of it. You know, she, she can be a little bit. <laughs> Tippy again. Why can't they all? But for any sort of major loads, you constantly have to have it sort of being towed behind. A truck with a crane, or doing as we're doing now, and excuse me, my coffee's repeating. Um, two two sort of routes all the time. And because it's such a capable truck, if you could change that back and put like a you know a service parts on there or fuel parts on there, like it, it just makes a great. Um, service recovery truck. It's more than capable with towing. Uh, it comes with, I believe, all wheel drive and diff locker on all the time as standard. So it's, it's awesome. And then just to uh, to balance it out, <laughs> it's only got the one flat bed. Or the one sideboard bed, sorry. And that's it. Whoa, these tires, these tires, these tires. Ah! No! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he did not stop in the ice. <laughs> oh, dear. Inertia is a thing. Right. Well, I guess that's going to be staying there for a while. <laughs> we'll just. <laughs> we'll just jump back into the royal. Never mind. Right, we tried to do something different. We'll skip that. Yeah, it's an easy recovery. We'll get that near the end. Like I said, we don't really need the truck. I was just trying to mix it up a little bit. We can soon pull that back up with the dairy hall when we go past. Let's just go and deliver our consumables. Let's get the workers at the sawmill fed. That was a waste of five minutes though, weren't it? So that's a waste of like nearly two hours of our, <laughs> of our game day. It just did not want to stop. Right, now I do need to just have a little think. Um, best route in... For us, um, I've got to go. I mean, I do like going along the river, but getting under there is a pain in the backside. Oh, we got some some stuff in the river here as well. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so we won't do that because we have to avoid that. So we might go left over the bridge and just follow that track. I think that's where we'll go. Then if we've time, we'll um, grab the concrete block and take it up to the tunnel.
I did think it was only a matter of time before we start losing trucks and rolling trucks. It's all been going too well. Way too well. So we'll try and stay on this track all the way. Could go right, but I know that that is, uh, that is a lot more uh, um, undulated, a lot more angles on the route than this one, I think. I think this one's longer, but a little bit flatter. I'd love to go through the river. But I know we've got things we need to avoid, and then... That means going up on the embankment to avoid them, which means the royal will tip. Oh, we've not fixed that. Oh, we've done this before, haven't we? Oh, blimey. Looks like we are going along the river. Here we go, boys and girls. This isn't going very straight, is it? This is, this is the episode where it all goes to pot. <laughs> right, we can't lose our workhorse. Please and thank you very much. Straighten up. Straighten up. Come on. There we go. We need to get that pipeline done. It's the last one as well. Dodgy camera angles don't help us. The bricks have got to go back there as well, I think. Yeah. Just need to be careful because we've not got fuel around here, have I? Not sure how well the other two will balance, but we'll give it a go. We'll try and pick them up on the way. Let's try and get something done today. And stability shouldn't be as bad as I've had in the past because I always, always raise the boil and I've not raised it this time, so. It should be all good. Where's the next one? Just around the corner? And then the next one's just there. Not start. Let's not start. Come on. Trailer just needs a wider berth, I think. Come 
Come on, trailer. moving for now, hey? What is our new, what's our new issue? What's your issue today? That'll be them rocks, won't it? There's some going over them. Which I don't think I want to now. We can't go backwards. Come on. Oh, come on. Look, that tree is definitely within the circle. That is definitely there. There we go. I think it's getting daylight, so that means it's near the end of our day because we're going to have a shorter day. Because so I think it must be like half past eight, nearly nine o'clock when we started, which is a bit weird because I don't think we finished that late. Pack it away. There we go, just to be safe. Yeah, I think we can. Oh man, come on. Again, this is one of those things where I have never had trouble getting along the riverbeds, but so now since we're doing it on hard mode and I'm recording it, we're going to have trouble with it. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't take this route if I weren't confident that I could do it. <laughs> That's why it's so weird and frustrating that it just gets me stuck. these ones a bit. Okay, so... They should stay on. It shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. Just get up the hill, Mike.
I mean, the the bricks, they add a little... They're not fully packed, so obviously they don't add their full weight to us, but they do add a little extra weight. And stop them to pick them, pick them up if they fall off is still quicker than going out and doing the whole route again and then having to come back out again, I think. I don't mind a little bit balanced overloading. It's a job that's already activated. It's out on the map. Let's just grab them. So we've got our consumables going in. And that's contract complete for supply crates. That's great. Got to be prepared for the worst out here where you could find yourself in real trouble. Thanks a lot. you got to tell me. That's 500 XP and um, three and a half grand in payment. And then we shall pack our bricks in. And we'll drop them off. Another contract done. Another task complete. Building materials. Uh, the season's been really good to us so far, all things considered, so the little mix-up with the bricks wouldn't be too much of a setback, or shouldn't be too much of a setback. Uh, thanks for your help, and that's 160, and another uh, 1,250, so we're going to have four, six, it's about 11, maybe 11, 12 grand for the day. Not bad, not bad, but that is definitely, yeah, nearly 9 o'clock again. I don't get the time right because of... <laughs> the way that the light works, definitely in Alaska, obviously. Um, but yeah, another day done. Uh, a, a couple of jobs um, finished there. We've got three of them done, which is which is nice. We have rolled the ANK. That'll need recovery. Um, next time out, we'll go and grab the pipes. And, or we'll go and grab the cement block, I think it is. Uh, get that delivered to the, to the tunnel. Probably try and grab the small pipes from the other spot. And um, yeah, we'll see what we can do from there. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.